Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to another edition of Random Horror Games, the series in which I play random horror games. There's a playlist in the description with tons of episodes in this series. It's one of my favorites that we get to do on the channel, and this was supposed to come out on Halloween, but it just didn't happen. Luckily, every day is Halloween for me, so it, today's Halloween. This game is called Midnight Nightmare, and we're going to start off with this one. Type, I have read the controls in the text box to continue. And there's a passive-aggressive smiley face there. I feel like I'm being held hostage. All right. I have read the controls. <laughs> Are you sure this is enough? You don't want me to take a blood oath? Take out a knife, slice my hand? I solemnly swear. I have read the controls. Great. <laughs> Press any key to wake up. Sure. Spiders? Who's knocking the door at midnight? Uh, what about these tarantula triplets you have on the floor? I should check the cameras before I open the door. Dude, why didn't you eat these cupcakes? <laughs> you just left them sitting out overnight. You know there were more than two to start with, so maybe he ate some and just left the rest of them. Uh, you... Oh no, my computer failed. Sometimes these horror games do that where they put up a blue screen, make you think that your actual computer is failing. Uh, we've got a very empty IKEA bookcase here. We've got a photo frame just above eye level where we can't see it. Then we got two books just to make it look like you read, and then a box that says memories on it, which is undoubtedly filled with pornography. You forgot the password again? Well, I won't give it to you easily this time. Solve the puzzle. Roses are red, violets are blue. The password is your computer's name. You're the one that should take the blame. <laughs> I am 100% sure you don't even know that. Go check it, lazy ass. Felix. Well, screw you too, Felix. Meta. Developer. The password is actually your IRL computer's name. And they tell you how to find it. <laughs> My computer's name is Office, I think. Oh, it is. I got a key. So... Now what? Who is taking a shower? Hang on. There's spires everywhere in this house. Who is this? What the hell? Felix! Why were you showering in your underwear? That's a good way to get soaked underwear. Was that a hallucination? <laughs> okay, this game is not supposed to be scary, right? Flashlight? Great. Don't need it right now, but cool. Hi, dog. Are you a dog? <laughs> this is a weird one, isn't it? Ah, laptop. <laughs> okay, here's all my hidden cameras. Bedroom camera. Oh. <laughs> Why does he have a weapon? I should reinforce the door with a chair. Oh, no rush. He looks like he's taking a stretch. A chair? Like from the kitchen, maybe? What is with all these spiders? Oh my god, anytime the chair hits anything, you drop it. Wow. All right, let's reinforce the door with the chair. That'll keep them out. To do, raid area 51. Oh my god, okay. So this is a meme horror game, I guess. Wow, hi guys. I think they're all stuck on each other. They are. <laughs> Luckily, you could push them around with your feet. Objective, grab the phone, okay? Oh, grab the phone. There's also a pie here. You don't want to eat the pie? Charge the phone. All right. Let's charge the phone. I should call 911. Call 911. All right. 911. Check. <laughs> Nine, one, one. Wait, did you just press emergency? Forgot password. First two characters of your username and size of C drive in gigabytes and today's date. O F four six four O one? Dude, all I want to do is call 911. 911. <laughs> That's O F for office four six four gigabytes and today's date O 
What? Oh, I got skeletons in my closet. Ah, ha, ha. Uh... Do they take out some of these spiders, man? The spiders are bulletproof. He's still just there. Objective, kill him. Well, I guess we're past the part of me <laughs> calling the cops. How am I supposed to kill him? Look, I can see his feet. Maybe I can kill him from beyond the door. I don't know. All right, guys, I restarted the game because I think the objectives are bugged. Anyway, we'll see what happens this time. My dog is barking. Did I just die? I'm sorry, that guy got me? He was like this. And that killed me. All right. I think I've seen all there is to see here. Next game. All right, this one's a game called Forgotten School. It was created by Azza Game Studio. I think we played one of their games in a previous edition of Random Horror Games called Perdita. It's a short Japanese VHS horror, which means that it's got scan lines. Where is everyone? I better hurry or I will be late for class. And we have a quest marker 200 meters away. Is the title Forgotten School also the plot? I forgot about school. <laughs> is it raining? It looks like a sunny day, but the camera has all this drizzle on it. Getting some mixed messages here. I'm not feeling immersed. All right, so I guess we go in right here or do we go up those stairs? No, we, we go inside. Huh? Wait, I'm recording. Oh, oops. It's really gonna make me Climb all these stairs. <laughs> all right then, here's my school at the top of the skyscraper. I guess we're loading the next level. I have to find the library first. Why? Okay, I'll go find the library. <gasps> Jump scare. What? <laughs> Can I look at that, or? No, E brings out the camera. Did you see that? Hey, it looks like the school that we're in might not have anyone in it. But that's what you get for coming in on a Saturday. Static, void. Okay, so you see certain images when you have the camera out rather than when you don't have it. Nobody. Loser. End it. Wait, are those on lower floors? Nune. That's what that says. If there was a space, it would say no one. But as it is, it says Nune. Hopeless. Meaningless. Wow. Bunch of Debbie Downers out here. Lifeless. Dumb. Outsider. <laughs> this sucks. Hi, are you a ghost? Wait. Where'd my camera go? Did I run out of battery? You need to charge your camera. Alright. Uh, let's go here. The library seems different. We're also insanely tall. What was that? I heard squeaking. Wait. I've been in this library before when I played Akamanto. This is the exact same library. Like, untouched. Am I dead? Is everyone I see dead? I don't know, I'm not sure what just happened. What? What? It 
it just ends? That was like five minutes. All right, well, that was Forgotten School. Next game. Hi, this is a game called Bleakstead, and it just plopped me here when I launched it, so. Great, Hel hello, static person. It's one of those games that was like created with 3D, you know, fully 3D graphics, but then they put a pixel filter over it. You can just tell from how it looks. Uh, let's go talk. Okay. You have to open the other door before you can go in. Let's go talk to this static person. Hi. Another out of towner. Wanna guess how I can tell? It's the look of y'all. There's another one like you. Photographer or something. She left that laptop here. Thank you, static person. Laptop? What, this? This, like, netbook? A message is on the screen. I've locked myself in my room. The whispers keep telling me to come out. I don't want to. I should go look for the laptop's owner at the motel. Red means scary. What? How come when I click the laptop, it turns all red? Wait, what does this person have to say? What do you have to say? You're finally here. This is the very last stop. Why don't you stay for a while? Or you could wait for the next bus. The diner has some wonderful cherry pie. What if I don't like cherry pie? I'm just kidding. I like cherry pie. I'm not a monster. Let's go talk to more static people. My favorite part of the game so far. Hi. Oh, oh, not a talkative one, huh? How come I can't get back there and talk to you? What's the point of having this desk? There's nothing behind it. All right, motel. Uh, I could remove these planks if I had a tool. Should I go find a tool? Well, what, what was this? The note reads, I couldn't stand it anymore. I have gone to the whispers. There's a trail next to the diner. The whispers are coming from that direction. Huh? Okay, check in. Can I check in? There's no one here. Is this the entirety of Bleakstead? There's someone in here. How can you tell? Ooh, are they looking at us? Are they looking at us? Ooh. Ugh. Somebody threw up on the door. Okay. What's that red thing over there? Oh, it's just a red cactus. Is this what you were talking about? The whispers lead here? This photo was taken from somewhere around here. Something is written on the back of the photo. And roommate is a woman. She... what? She what? I didn't... I couldn't read it fast enough. It looked like it said, she knows how to rock, but that wasn't... I don't think that's what it said. How about this here pile of dirt? <laughs> You big city kids may have your technology out here in the desert. We got our piles of dirt, though. This is a snippet from an old newspaper. It talks about a highway built through the Arizona desert. The date on it is 1952. Could it be this highway that we're on right now? What's back here? Anything good? Anything good? Hi. Oh. There she is. What do you got over here? Pick up the list? Let's find out what she says first. You're finally here. She heard the whispers. Do you hear them too? The whispers are all around us. If you want to know where she is, the get everything on the list on the desk. <laughs> I spoke so quickly. Is, is there a way to replay the instructions? Can't get everything on the list. Got it. Take the list. Press F to view the list. Candles. Memories and ash, bleed a stone, a corpse's rib, the whisperer's face. I want to see the whisperer's face. Memories and ash. Well, he's smoking. Where's your ash at? You don't have an ash bowl around here? Show me your ash bowl, man. Hey. Yes. <laughs> the candles are over there. On the shelf. They've already been paid for. Just take them. Okay, which shelf? Over there, on the shelf. I guess it's this. I pick up the candles. They feel strangely cold and heavy. All right, so, got the candles. Now I just need memories and ash, bleed a stone, a corpse's rib, and the whisperer's face. So, okay, there's something over here. What is this? 
Uh, Bleakstead Trailer Park. Can I go in? Let me in here. Ooh. Okay. Let me into your homes. Memories and ash. Where are they? You have nothing in your fridge. Or your oven. Wow. What's going on in here? It's all red. Uh... Burnt remnants. Oh! Memories and ash. Right? Now ne next I need to bleed a stone. I also need a corpse's rib. Okay. Oh, uh, what was this? This appears to be a piece of diary entry. Grandmother used to tell us stories of the old ones. When the matriarch of dirt passed on, she bled out into the earth. Nails and teeth became mountains. Her flesh the sand, and her blood the river. Yeah, a likely story. Okay, so like, a corpse's rib. So what was her rib, though? <laughs> what was her rib? What is this? The rock has been screwed by daggers. Pull the dagger out. The blade is covered in blood. Alright, so we got... We, we bled a stone. So we just need a corpse's rib. And, uh, the whisperer's face. This cactus is redder than the rest of them. Ooh. It looks different, too. Break off a rib. I break off a rib. I feel as if I have done something terrible. Oh, so this is the corpse. Alright, so we just need the Whisperer's face. And I have no idea where to find that. A strange red mask. I feel like I'm being stared at. The Whisperer's face. Ooh, we got it then. We got all five items on the list. I completely missed that earlier. I was like, maybe the Whisperer's face is my face. <laughs> and I tried to go in with that, but uh, it wouldn't even let me enter the room, which was weird. Begin the ritual. Oh, cool. Yeah. What are we doing? The ritual is complete. Check room four for a device that lets you reveal secrets. Thanks. What's all the fog going on now? What are you getting? You like sucking the life force out of something? By the way, you can uh, change the FOV, I found out. So you can... Ooh, you can go way in or you can go way out. I'm gonna sit right here, I think. Room four. Oh, that's this one. Oh. A photo of a bizarre temple. Where's that? Um, a photo of a shed. Where's that? Full of a temple, full of a strange door, full of a bizarre structure, an old camera. Oh, cool. Press E to look through the camera's viewfinder. Oh, okay. A photo of strange spires. So am I supposed to take photos at those locations? Hmm. Oh. Oh. When you take a picture of it, it, it comes to life! So this is some weird temple thing. Well, cool, I'm glad this giant thing is here now. Great. Alright. Hang on. So anytime that there's a red, here's the shed. Oh, you make them appear, the things in the photographs. Got it. Pick up crowbar. Yes, please. Something over there. Okay, we're making progress now. What is this? Uh... What? Where are we now? Looks like a river of blood over here? I don't know. It sounds like there's... The noise is getting louder. Use the crowbar on the boards. Where are we? This is kind of bizarre. We're going into the mountains. The sounds are getting louder. Red means scary, y'all. Case in point. Welcome home.
Alright, thanks. What? And then the game just closed. Hmm. Well, it's interesting at least. I mean, it's not... Not anything I'm gonna remember like six months from now, but... <laughs> just being blunt, just being honest. Uh, yeah, that was Bleakstead. Well, cool. Uh, next game. All right, this is the demo for an upcoming horror game called Sinistria. So let's go ahead and start a new game. As always, chapter one, nightmares. <laughs> what a great way to start things off. Officer Mike here. I can't answer right now. Please leave a message. Mike, I know it sounds crazy, but the town that comes up in my dreams really exists. Call me as soon as you can. It's called Silent Hill. She's gone, and I didn't hear the door click. Huh. What happened? Where is she? Shh. Hey, don't shove a note at me. Q, examine. Brush script typeface, very professional. My dear Nicholas, it was very hard for me to leave you, but I had to do it. I know how hard it was for you too, but another day that passes is another day closer to seeing you again. I will wait for you here in Sinistria, with love, Stephanie. So this is Silent Hill 2. All right, there she is, look at that. Do I take the key? You found door key. <laughs> she was a painter from the looks of it. All right, let's go. Wake up. Did you just shove me back into my room? Oh no, there's blood on the floor. Oh my god. Oh, it's been corrupted now. Can I please? Okay, don't don't push Steph, me again. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry. Are these your sculptures? Wow. Hmm. <laughs> okay, the door is locked. We need to find another key. Uh, do I maybe go back? Oh, okay. So we're doing this, huh? So, uh, I recognize this map. It's different than it usually looks, but, uh... It all started with the idea presented by Christopher Baroni in his book! Later, he started to show his vision through PAINTINGS! That was the spark that brought misery. Luna Theodora. Neato. Okay, so book and paintings. Here's a painting. Grab. Take. Oh, oh. Oh, ho, ho. Who are you? I am disgusted by the things that we will have to do. But it is the only chance to gain our power. Wow, look. They got all their eyes blacked out. Creepy. So, how many of these are there? A lot of names here. Zelda Tabitha, Jade Locasta. They're all they're all women. Beatrice, Cassandra, Ophelia, Cordelia. Hmm. Okay. Alita. E use. What am I using? Oh, I'm opening the drawer. I wish I could see. Yeah, it's just like four copies of the same note. Maybe there's some puzzle with the letters there. Oh. My bad, I totally didn't see that. I'm sure we'll see it again. Book! Where's the book? To move this out of the way, look. There's a thing down here. Okay. Use. Christopher Baroni. Hold E and drag. Okay. Hi, what are you doing? I started losing the influence because people want to see witches. You should offer them witches in one way or another. 
Okay, so that's checked off. Stephanie's checked off. I don't know. Let's take this key. You found door key. Wait, multiple are, are checked off now. Is that the case for, no, not that one. This one. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's, let's go. We found a key though, so. Oh. Wait, does that say F7? Or does it say F? F7. F? What? I'm pressing F. I'm pressing F. Do I press F7? Do I repeatedly press F7? That's a weird QTE to have. What am I doing? I pressed F7 a bunch of times. I hope I'm not screwing my computer up. Do I press F? You press E. You press E. <laughs> I thought it said F7. <laughs> I was pressing F7 and I was like, this is really weird. Why do I need to press this? E, there's a little drip there. And that, my friends, is why it's good to pick uh, typefaces that don't cause that situation to happen. The door's locked. And I know there might be people out there that are like, well, clearly it didn't say F7. You haven't played some of the indie horror games that I've played, all right? There are, it absolutely could have happened that way. I can definitely see an indie dev being like, oh, it'll be unexpected, they'll panic. They'll be like, where was my F7 key? I'm brilliant for having this as a QTE. You just never know. Oh, there it is. There's the key, you found door key. It's hard because it's not lit up in here. All right, so we found both door keys and now we can exit. I hope that me pressing F7 about 30 billion times didn't mess up anything. I never press the F keys because I'm always concerned that I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. These are not always what they seem to be. What does that mean? What does that mean? The door's locked. Oh, upside down room. There it is. Oh, it all came crashing down around me. We got a whiner over here. Where is she? Sounds like she's right here, but there's nothing there. Okay, let's follow the bloody footprints. Oh no, Satan got me. A torture chair. I am the evil antagonist. We must make them recognize themselves as witches. <laughs> Did you hear her laugh at the end? She was crying, but then she was laughing. Offering. Uh, the door's locked. Okay, I need to find some offerings. Door's locked. We gotta... We gotta look for a key. The door's blocked. Find something to cut the chain. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Like a, like a bolt cutter, or...? Ah, what is this? Scissors! <laughs> you found a scissor! I'm sorry, are these scissors gonna cut the chain here? No way. Hang on, I gotta... Oh, you gotta be in like an exact... There we go. Wow, those are powerful scissors. Ugh. Us of witchcraft. They tortured and starved us. The only thing we wanted at that moment was death. Oh, well, boo-hoo. Oh, Remy and Scary, y'all. Hmm. I wonder if this place is evil or not. A beating heart. Let's grab it. Okay, what do I do with this? Is this an offering? Uh, put down. Yes, now let me in. It's a still beating heart. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, I saw you there. Uh, grab? What, <laughs> what are we doing? Do we move these? Ah, there's a vent over here. Okay, let's keep going. Somebody's banging on the vents. 
Don't troll me, guys. Come on. Ooh, down another level. You don't sound like somebody I'd enjoy hanging out with. Oh, there they are. It would have been cool if they started burning right after he said, BURN! Haunted gazebo. Let's see. At the height of the agony, he came to us. We accepted his pact. I'm just looking for my wife, man. <laughs> Leave all this witch burning and stuff out of it. The clouds covered the sky. Leaves were rustling and the fires ceased to burn us. Our curse will descend on all. Stephanie. All right, Stephanie's mean. So what now? Oh, here we go. Oh no, she's after me. We gotta get through the maze. She doesn't move very fast though, so not much of a threat. So now what? <laughs> More evil! We were in total agony. The only thing we wanted was death. But in the end, the devil took advantage of man's weaknesses, transforming them into power. I don't understand all these horror games, like they start off like, I'm just looking for my wife, and then like two seconds later, it's like, we made a pact with the devil because they were trying to burn all us witches and they, he imbued us with power! And like you go into these ancient, like evil looking temples and crap. Like, oh, my wife just disappeared, all right? I'm looking to get back to suburbia. Am I supposed to hop up somewhere or? There's a valve right there. I'm supposed to make a tower, pretty sure. Might be wrong, but let's, let's see. Wait. Didn't have to make a tower, really. Just had to... <laughs> just had to hop up a little bit. Hey! Oh. The door's locked. It must be in a drawer somewhere. Or maybe it's... Is it behind... Uh, is it behind this, or... Uh, where do I find it? Aha. Uh -huh. You. Do you, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Do I go back? Ah, oh, it's different now. Mmm. Piano. Something is missing here. What, what, sheet music? Maybe is one of the keys? Yeah, this asset pack. Oh, what is it called? It's like HE Abandoned Asylum or something like that. I've seen it like a million times. Oh my gosh. You found Dorky. <laughs> All right, let's use it. Not there. This one. I'm looking for another Dorky. What's this? You found a song. Hey. Cool. Let's put it on. Do you know how to play piano? Silence. By Stephanie. Oh my gosh. I think this is actual sheet music. Wait. It is. Huh. Cool. Hey, well, no, I'm back here. I'm back home. Wait a second. Another vent? No? Uh, another key. This one says 101. Hey, look, she looks pretty again. Look at her Pokemane looking ass. Let's go out of here. What do I use the key for? Oh, back here. Oh, she's pointing at it, and then she burned. <laughs> she. <laughs> she's gone. I thought it said. I thought it said. <laughs> I thought it said burn it in Sinistria. Burn it in Sinistria. This was once called the town of silence and peace. Now it is 
the house of the devil. Uh, two extremes, huh? This used to be such a peaceful town. And now... It's a horrible place. What did I... The chandelier fall on me, or...? It was all a dream. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Full game will be released soon. Okay, uh... I don't know, man. I, I feel like the pacing is all over the place with that one. I mean, you just get thrown right in to some tale about witches and Satan and power and some evil dude who wants to, like, make women think they're witches. I don't know. Well, I don't think I'll be playing the full version of this game, but uh, there's the demo. If you liked what you saw, check it out. Next game. All right, this game is called Estacal Liberdade, which means something. It's not Spanish, I think. I think it's Portuguese. So something freedom. I don't know. Let's go ahead and uh, press space to start. It was made in 24 hours for the Game Jam Gamescom 2019. So that's cool. Liberty Station is what it means, and I think it is Portuguese. Which means my pronunciation was way off, I think. Estachau? Is that how you'd say it? I don't know. Eu era muito chato. I was very boring. Todo santo dia eu comia mesmo. Every day I ate the same food. Usava a mesma roupa. Or the same clothes. Todos os dias os Wait. Jogos. This is the PT monologue. Dad was such a drag. He always ate the same kind of food, same clothes, played the same kind of games. I can't remember the exact uh, monologue. Jump scare. Uh oh. Had that door slam. There's no one here. For you guys out there that regularly ride the subway, how often have you seen it completely empty? I remember, uh, I mean, I've, I've ridden the subway in New York City at 3 a.m. before, and even then it's not empty. Chernobyl. You know, it's just a Chernobyl advertisement with a goose on it. An IT goose. Liberty Station. You know, for a game with Liberty in the name, they're not really letting me do a whole lot as a player. What? Okay. How did that... Did I pick the lock with the card? Oh, my phone's ringing. I'm back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. Wait. Is it coming from over here? Where's that phone coming from? There it is. You need to charge your phone. Wait. That's the PT sounds. Okay. Oh no. I didn't want it to stop. One day I died in an accident. A very stupid way to die. I'm not complaining. I would die of boredom if it wasn't for the accident. So edgy. Alright. Life is so boring. Death is way more interesting. Okay. Are we finding anything, or...? I think this is some more PT sound in the background. How long is this train? It's at least... a hundred cars. I can't figure out what you're supposed to do. There's nothing on the seats. 
I mean, do I turn around, maybe? Do I go the other way? I don't know what this means. Okay, well, the eyes are Yeah, you just turn around. Is that it? But guess what? I'm coming back. And I'm bringing my new toys with me. And I'm bringing my new toys with me. Why didn't you say the rest of it? I don't get it. I don't get this. It's like PT, but worse. <laughs> Which is a description I can give to many games. All right, next game. All right, to wrap things up, this is a game called, ooh, Mr. Hop's Playhouse. <laughs> All right, let's start up a new game. Dad, can you take Mr. Hop tonight? He scares me. Don't be silly, Ruby. What would Nana think of you saying that? She made him just for you. I'll leave your nightlight on. Try and get some sleep. Dad doesn't understand. Dad was such a drag. <sighs> Dad! Mummy! Papa! Oh, what's this? Task. Head to parents room. I did not realize... Okay. <coughs> toys make noise. If only Ruby had listened to her parents and tidied her toys away, be sure to jump over the toys scattered around the house. Saying them off could bring unwanted attention. This is really cool. Wait, why does it say visible right here? Visible? Hidden. Footsteps can be deafening. Make sure it's completely safe before coming out of hiding. All right, I'm figuring this out. So we don't want to step on the toys. What's this? That's a huge doorway. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's some eyes there. Yeah, I'm visible, all right. Oops, danger. Am I in danger? I don't think anything's really happening. Use headphones and listen carefully to your surroundings. Oh, I'm listening. Trust me, I got my ear to the ground. That's a tough one. Okay, so you gotta get a running jump for that. Hang on. Ah, okay. So for longer toys, you do a running jump. Ooh, like that. Oh no! This, this must be a bad dream. Uh, were they murdered? Task, make your way back to bed. A monumental task to be sure. All right, well, let's leave this awful room. Okay. All right. That was very loud. Mr. Hop. Oh, this is awful. Task, leave the house. I'll try. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Where am I going right now? Oh! <laughs> this is really cool. Oh! So that's what it means by visible. Okay. No, I understand. Task, leave the house. I'll try my best. Let's go back to bed. The end. <laughs> Ending, sleep tight. Ruby insisted it was all a bad dream and went back to bed. Maybe that was the mistake. Okay, so <laughs> we got a really easy ending there. I love the endings where you can just turn around and be like, nope, actually, I don't wanna do this. This is a very large doorway right here. 
Oh, you can go downstairs. Press down to duck behind furniture. Whew. Oh, so this must be the living room. Wow, there he is, Mr. Hop. You know, he's not really hopping a whole lot. Hidden. So if I stand up, I'm visible. That's pretty awful. Good thing we're short. Okay, what's this? What am I looking at here? The hand icon's there. I'm pressing interact and nothing's happening though. Whatever. Okay. There he is. So is this the front door? Where is he walking right now? <laughs> Mum? Mum? Find Ruby's mother. Oh, I got a key. Some doors require a key. Interesting. Well, I have one. Something tells me I didn't find, uh... what I do? Oh. Oh, okay, I understand the house layout a bit better now. Woo! Okay. Okay. What about this? We in the kitchen now. Hey. What? Do we want to go in here? Anniversary! 18th of April! Hmm. Is that today? What's going on? Alright. Tape recorder. A sticky note attached reads, Under the mirror. Under the mirror? Task. Find tapes. Zero out of six! Okay, this basement sucks, by the way. Can we get out of here? Under the mirror, okay. You can keep walking that way, or you gotta turn around. Okay. I did it. Oh! Tape one. September 8th, Jenna, Ruby, and I went to see Esther yesterday. Ruby always loves seeing her grandmother. Nana, she calls her. She's not been doing so well in recent months. We went round the other weekend and she was just staring at the wall. We had to really shake her to snap her out of it. And then she was just fine like nothing had happened. God knows how long she'd been doing that for. We've booked her in for a doctor's appointment. I'm supposed to be recording ideas for a new novel. I don't care. <laughs> but I guess let's find another one. Okay. I did it. So there's no tape here? Ooh, I almost went. I gotta wait a second. No, he keeps going back. Leave. Get out of here. He faked me out. Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh. Ah, here's another tape right here. Tape two, September 14th. Jen and I stopped to see Esther again today. The place was filthy. I'm not sure how it would have gotten so bad so quickly. Esther doesn't seem to be keeping herself clean either. And it's almost like she didn't recognize us. Her appointment is tomorrow. Jenna is worried she might have to go into care. I'll keep this documented. I hope Ruby doesn't have to see her like this. Hmm. What a tragedy. Okay. Do we have another one? Do we have another tape in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Where's Mr. Hop right now? I don't hear him. All right, all right. Okay. It's 
so hard to tell when he's looking. All right. There's another tape under the mirror. September 15th, as of recording this, Esther is in the hospital. Her neighbors called the police in the early hours of the morning because they could hear her screaming. She'll be there for a few days. We've told Ruby that she had a fall and that she's okay. We're waiting on a diagnosis. Uh, I don't know about this. Okay. Ooh. He's coming back. He's coming back. Mm. Okay. Another tape. Fourth tape. September 17th. We took Ruby to the hospital to see her Nana. -na. Esther made a soft toy for her called Mr. Hop. A small rabbit. Esther always knitted her clothes and toys. Ruby was thankful, but I must admit, this toy does have a look to it. Something quite unsettling. Yeah, and then he killed you. Isn't that terrible? That's fun. That's just fun. God! You never know when he's gonna turn around. Eh, whatever. I'm sneaky. I'm so sneaky. Is there a tape in here? Probably gonna... Probably gonna get the key to go in there. After we have all six tapes, I bet. Woo! Okay, okay. Woo! I'm messing up, I'm messing up all over the place. But it doesn't matter, what's up here? Do I go up here, or no? Any tapes? Any tapes? Oh, Slender Man. It's a Slender Man Easter egg. Okay. Mm, tape right here. Got it, got it, got it. Tape five, September 19th. We just had a call. Esther passed away in her sleep. The doctors couldn't give us a diagnosis and even said the sudden passing is bizarre. We'll have to tell Ruby when she gets home from school. This isn't gonna be easy on any of us. Oh, it's especially not gonna be easy on you two. Oh, trust me. Now, where do I go for the sixth and final tape? That was dumb. Ah, Nana looked into the fires of hell and she saw me. Oh, really? Okay, it seems like... It feels like the tapes just kind of randomly appear. Like, there's no real way to figure out when or where they spawn next. I'm guessing it's not in my room, but I'll check. Oops. Oops. Ooh. Slip past. What the hell? I want to get a good look at him. Damn, I gotta go all the way back here. Okay, now he's in here. Can I get the last tape? September 22nd, Ruby says the Mr. Hop toy creeps her out, but it's the only thing she has to remember her grandmother by. I keep hearing bumps in the night like somebody is walking around and it's scaring Jenna and I. I keep a handgun in the safe, but I'm considering keeping it closer to me. We lock that room so that Ruby can't get to it. Jenna keeps the key under a houseplant in the hallway, I think. Oh, really? That is interesting. A houseplant in the hallway, you say? I'm on my way. Oh my gosh, how many plants are there? Oh my gosh, I found it.
Damn. I got too impatient there. It's that one. All right, we just need... Wait. No, I still hear him. Okay. Jeez. I was like, I don't hear his footsteps anymore. But I heard him. Mmm, keeps turning around. Stop that. Stop! Yeah, I got tired of waiting, all right? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay. Are you guys ready? Am I still recording? Okay. What? Okay, the only thing I can think of is we saw on the calendar in the kitchen April 18th, 1804. And I saw earlier that it was formatted like day, month, so. All right. We got a gun. Where did I see that it was formatted like that? Because in, in America we do it month and year. So I was gonna be real mad if I put in 0418 and it didn't work. But luckily I figured it out. Okay. Where are you, Mr. Hop? Huh? Oh, now you're nowhere to be found. You were all big, walking around the background. Oh, here you are. Oh. Get him. Too easy. <laughs> wow. It's cool hearing the sounds. What is this? This is an E hand icon right there and it doesn't do anything. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one, the go, go, go. Ruby, come and give your Nana a big kiss. I'm guessing she's in the basement. Well, let's go get her. What are we waiting for? Nana, but I thought you were... What? What? Oh. We got out, okay. Armed police, drop the gun now. Oh no. Oh no. This is all misunderstanding. We didn't do it. It was him. It was the rabbit. Ruby escaped. Ending. Escape artist. Ah, uh, yeah, she escaped one prison and is going into another. Are those the only two? Hang on, are those the only two endings? All right, there's actually a third ending, but I'm not gonna bother trying to get it. We basically got the full experience of the game there. So, Mr. Hobbs Playhouse, really cool. Definitely the highlight of this edition of Random Horror Games. Yeah, I don't really have anything negative to say about it, except maybe it was a little too simple, I guess, would be the only thing. But I, I mean, overall, I really enjoyed it. The art style was really cool. I mean, it had a great vibe to it, loved the music. Just a good game all around. Uh, so let's review what else we've played in this episode of Random Horror Games, shall we? First, we played Midnight Nightmare. Yeah, Midnight Nightmare. That was a joke, literally. And then we played, I don't know, uh, uh, Liberty Station, which was just nothing. And then 
Ah, uh, let's see, what else, what else did we play? The Sinistra demo, which was kind of funny. We played Forgotten School, which was like 30 seconds long, so that's another nothing game. And Bleakstead, which was kind of neat, but just ultimately a little strange and disjointed. So yeah, I think this was definitely the one I enjoyed the most. Uh, let me know what you thought about the games in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Random Horror Games. If you want to see more, though, there's a playlist in the description with all the ones I've done so far, and my voice is starting to go, so I will as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Think critically.